Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, this is the end of September that we're uh, filming this video, and as we always do, we're going to uh, select a multi-unit building. In this case, it'll be a triplex, break out the financials, what they mean, and if you enjoy getting these, hit your subscription button, notification bell, and we'll notify you of this at the beginning of every month. So let's get right into it, and as I mentioned, it's a triplex. It was centrally located, and it was listed for $875,000. Um, and it sold for $830,000. The scheduled rental income on, on the building was $65,000. Uh, the effective rental uh, was $63,000. Uh, the operating expenses as stated in MLS were almost $20,000. When we add in maintenance and management, the total operating expenses on the building were about $26,000. So that gives us a net operating income or an NOI of $37,000. $37,000. So let's see what that means. And what it means is a uh, very healthy cap rate of uh, almost 4.5%. And based on where this uh, building is located, you would expect caps more in the high threes kind of thing, uh, maybe around four. So this is a very high cap. And that's telling me that uh, maybe something was required, deferred maintenance, uh, capital cost expenditures, that kind of thing on, on, on the uh, building. The uh, operating expense ratio, um, average to high at 41%. It sold for 13 uh, uh, times the gross, 22 times the net. Uh, you know, we're, the, these are numbers like we were looking at a few years ago, almost. Um, now, in order for this property to have a break even in terms of cash flow, what we do is we look at what kind of a down payment was required. And this is very low compared to what we've been seeing for the last few months and even the past couple of years. But anyhow, the numbers are what they are. Uh, so this person needed a 34% down payment, uh, which was $282,000. And if uh, we assume that they got a mortgage at 4.7%, amortized over 25 years, um, that's what we were using as their numbers. They ended up with a monthly uh, payment on, on the property of a little over three grand. Uh, anyhow, the annual debt service on that mortgage, that's how much they have to pay in mortgage payments per year, uh, is $37,000. And what that does is it shows us a small positive cash flow of about $29. But the point is, what did it take to get to a positive cash flow? And again, in this case, there is 34%. So thank you for watching.